Hi everyone, Miss Jess from the Monroe Street Art Center and I've got a project for your inclusivity art kit today. Um, inside of your kit, you guys are going to find a sheet of sign language. This is the alphabet in sign language. So every letter has a different symbol that you use with your hands um, to spell out the letters, right? Um, for this project, there's a few different ways that you can go ahead and make a sign language poster. Um, on your sheet, there's two sides. One side has all of the hands on it that shows what the letters are. The other side just has the letters that spell out love, L-O-V-E. So first way that you can do this project is to just use this side of your paper and turn it into a poster. Um, with your art kit, you guys received a container of watercolor paints. Um, whatever your lid looks like that it came with, it probably opens a little different than mine, like sideways. You can use this lid as a mixing palette. So you can mix different colors together on this side that you want to use to color your poster, just as an option. Okay, so what I did with mine to turn it into a poster was mix up some different skin tones, right? I used a combination of black, yellow, orange, red to make different skin tones, right? They're all a little bit different. Then I decided to um, use my red marker, I just have a red Crayola marker, and then my permanent marker from my art kit to add some details like red fingernails, little hearts. I gave it a red border all the way around, right? Just bring it to life, give it some color, some pizzazz. So that's option number one, okay? Option number two is for you to try yourself to draw these hands and to write, to literally create your very own poster. Um, which is actually what I ended up doing on this one. Same letters, I just did them myself. Hands can be really hard to draw. So if this is a little bit too tricky for you, that is okay. You can just turn this one into your poster, your sign language poster. Otherwise, let's go ahead and try to sketch some out. My biggest tips for sketching out hands is to go nice and slow. Practice makes perfect. Hands are really weird and they bend in a lot of different ways. So having to draw all of those different ways that they bend takes practice. It's probably not gonna look great right away, but if you try a couple of times, it gets easier and easier and easier. So what I'm doing is inside of my kit, there's another piece of paper Okay, this one's like white speckled cardstock. It's good for painting on because it's a little bit thicker. What I did was divided up my space into the four letters that spell out love. You don't have to do the word love. You can do any word you want to. You could do joy, hope, hello, anything, peace, right? Um, so I drew one line right down the middle, one line right through the side, and then starting with my pencil, or you can use the new pencil that's inside of your art kit. Um, you're going to start with pencil and sketch out those letters. Use this as your reference, right? I looked at this in order to know how to draw these just a little bit bigger. I have one letter left, so I wanted to show you how I'm gonna sort of wrap this one up um, and then paint this one, my very own poster. So L-O-V, the last one that I need is the letter E in sign language looks like this, where the thumb is just directly underneath those fingers. So I'm gonna start by drawing all four of these fingers and then my thumb underneath. And I'll hold it up so you guys can see it in a second, okay? Little pinky, ring finger, middle finger, pointer finger. I start with just general shapes like that, right, for our knuckles. And then the thumb goes underneath it. And I'm going really fast. I've been practicing these this week, um, but you guys can take your time. Okay, so again, this does not have to be perfect, you guys. Fingers are hard to draw. The most important thing is that we're having fun with this, okay? So, rough, rough sketch of the letter E, right? I did it with pencil. If I made a mistake, it'd be easy for me to erase. I like the way this looks. Before I do paint, I'm gonna outline it with my Sharpie. So again, taking that permanent marker, the only place that I wanna use it is on my project. I'm just gonna go back over my pencil lines so that when I go to add paint, 
they stand out, right? I don't want them to disappear underneath my color. I want to be able to see the outline. Now, the way that I decided to decorate mine was to use kind of an Andy Warhol style, which means the, oops, the hand is a different color than the background. And I used some bright neon paints on this one. Um, today for doing this one, I'm just going to use my watercolor tray. Um, you can start however you want to. I've got a big paintbrush here. I'm gonna rinse it off, get it nice and wet. These paints work the best with a lot of water. So if I wanna start maybe with the color red, I want a little tiny puddle in my red color, right? Mix it around a couple times. And then maybe today, I'm gonna start by painting my background. Dip it in again if you need a little more water. If you have other paints at home, you could use other paints. You even have those acrylic skin tones. Where did I put them? Here you go. These little acrylic skin tones. Feel free to use these on this project too. You already have the colors mixed up, ready to go for you. All right. Um, like I said, have fun with this project. You guys can spell out any word you want to. I'm gonna spend some time here decorating this one. Okay. You can see how that permanent marker does really make them stand out from my background. Two more spots left here, and then I can think about um, what colors I wanna do for the skin. Do I want them to be skin tones? Do I want them to be not skin tone? Maybe they're all gonna be purple skin. I don't know. All right. And one more spot. I'm gonna use my light blue here. So now I'll let this dry before I go back in and do my skin tones because it's a little wet. I don't want them to drip together. Okay, but have fun with this project, you guys. Spell out a cool word, learn some sign language. It's so cool to be able to communicate through sign language, right? All right, have fun, you guys.